Hello Redditors, welcome back to Tales Against Humanity. Now, let's get started. In today's episode. My black father called me, a mixed race woman, a bedwa asterisk asterisk ch for having a white boyfriend and threatened to kill him multiple times. This happened a long while ago. I found my biological father whilst I was in foster care. He's from the Caribbean, I grew up in Hawaii. My mom is American. She's a whole other can of beans. I would talk to him over WhatsApp and he talked to me. He didn't raise me. So this is like an issue of entitlement over my dating habits. He also expressed other things about how I should live my life, like eating pork is evil and dislike the fact that I'm surrounded by evil Asians and whites all of the time. You know, normal dad things. That is like being an American GI and finding your long lost baby in the Philippines and discovering that, oh my God, they don't worship George Washington and they eat dinguin and being mad about it. I was 17 when he found me and he expected me to be completely in line with his culture and expectations. At the time, he'd send me money, which I appreciated because my foster parents would take all of the money they received from the government and only treated the Filipino foster child with any sense of care or love. If it's not obvious, foster parents were Filipino. Me and the other non-Filipino foster children were left to fend for ourselves. We had a roof over our heads and some food, but that was the extent of them caring for us. We would have to buy our supplies for school, pay for laundry, find a way to get clothes, toiletries, etc. They were also openly racist. Foster parents eventually lost their license. Anyhow, while talking to my father, it was revealed he was a raging narcissist just like my mother. He tell grandiose tales about himself, how everyone loves him, and how I needed to go back to the Caribbean ASAP to go back to my culture and say how I was a black Caribbean girl. He would go on and on about culture, how I need to go back to my culture, how I am a pure black woman and I need to go back to my culture. Whenever I said I was mixed, he said it was American cultural confusion. He was pretty racist against practically everyone who was not specifically exactly like him. Meanwhile, he wants to choose my husband, who of course has to be pure black, dark skinned, with dreadlocks like him. The audacity to think that he has the right to select a husband for his estranged daughter who grew up in the comparatively socially progressive Hawaii, SMH. At the time, I started dating this white guy who I thought was cute, and we hit it off. Turns out we share a lot in common. Fast forward, my father kind of finds out because I casually mention my friend. I feel like I'm lying by withholding information so I come clean. My father threatened to fly to Hawaii and kill my boyfriend and called me a nasty, Americanized bedwa asterisk nch, a sellout, that no one trusts black children with white fathers, that race mixing is American degeneracy, along with feminism and homosexuality. He disowned me and stopped talking to me, not without a bunch of threats, calling me a dumb white girl, an American with no culture and a sellout. My dad is great yes, I'm just so dumbfounded by this man. He has me with a white American woman and gets mad that, when I'm raised by her, I don't share his cultural ideals and I see myself as mixed. What? Edit. Years have passed since then. Me and that guy I talk about are engaged and we live together, in a pretty alright neighborhood with a pool and a dog. We're living pretty okay. I have no contact with my father. Story 2. Abusive M.I.L. taking bedroom from grandson for herself. So this has been on my chest for a while and I don't know where else to vent besides my husband. I also don't know where my place is as far as saying something. The situation is concerning my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and her kids. My three nephews' quick backstory, she was physically abusive to both my husband and SIL and has some kind of undiagnosed personality disorder. I'm not sure, just she was real fucked up to her kids. She became better behaved with time and medication but still had angry outbursts, spending sprees, spreading rumors here and there when I met my husband 14 years ago in 2008. He was 20 when I was 18. We all just kind of tolerated as it wasn't too often and not physical. Fast forward. We ceased all contact with her around 2015. Seven years because of an argument between us and her slash husband's stepfather. 
my husband couldn't take the way they handled the situation and treated me. He also decided that he was sick of her denying the past child abuse. He just wanted to cut all the toxicity off. Now it's been seven years since we've talked except for like five unavoidable times at SIL where there are only greetings given. In this time, we've heard stories of her drama from our SIL. She falsely accused her own daughter Sil of child abuse in front of a bunch of other relatives, tried to find a way to take custody of BIL kid because his mother wanted to move to her home country with him. While they're spending now on designer bullshit purses, maxing credit cards, the spending has built up over the past year and a half or so to the point where my husband's stepfather has threatened divorce multiple times. It finally happened like two months ago. They sold their house, divided shit up, etc. She was never self-sufficient during any of this. She's working at a gas station for shit money last I heard and has no sense of budgeting. My SIL decided to help her mom out and has now moved her in with her family. She's married with a 10-a-old, 7-year-old, and 4-a-old. They live in a trailer. It's actually nice in a nice neighborhood and they own it. They don't have a lot of money and they've worked very hard to be homeowners and do the best they can. And I'm proud of them and I think they're great parents. It's a three-bedroom. The two youngest boys, 7 and 4, share a room. The oldest 11, as appropriate, has his own. When I heard M.I.L. was going to move in I figured it was temp dot like a month or two on the couch till she figured her shit out. No. She took the oldest one's room and now the three boys are sharing a tiny room. My husband hates the situation too. He went over there two days ago and told me how our oldest nephew showed him the cot him and his dad made for him to sleep on. They built it together and made it so it rolls under the bunk beds because there's no room for another bed. My nephew was proud of it because he thought it was cool because he made it with his dad. But it broke me and my husband's hearts. We both grew up poor with not enough room for everybody to have a bed. So the fact that there is enough room for all the kids but it was taken away irritates the shit out of me. The worst part is they are planning on keeping this arrangement up until they can collectively with MIL buy a house. Same situation just a bigger house. My nephew is going to be 12 soon and things are going to start changing and it's just not appropriate to me when there is room available.